Welcome to Ford Mod Motor Training Part 22. This video we're going to be looking at how to program throttle body characterization data in our Ford PCMs. Our throttle body data is essential if we're upgrading our throttle body from our stock size to a larger than stock throttle body. Now this might be a Ford racing throttle body, it might also be an aftermarket throttle body. I'm going to be providing some throttle body data that you can copy and paste from our Excel spreadsheet provided in the training course into your tables so that you have something to start off with that's very accurate. We're also going to be taking a look at how to use our VCM scanner and create a custom histogram to figure out how to go in and repopulate a throttle angle error and fix that into our predicted tables and then into the inverse table. There's going to be a lot of things to cover within our training tutorial here, so let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at programming our throttle body characterization tables within our Ford PCM programming. This is going to be an absolute necessity if you've changed your throttle body from stock to an aftermarket or a larger than stock throttle body size. Now, if you have a stock throttle body, this video really isn't going to pertain to your application. You can watch it and definitely follow along with what we're talking about, but you're going to find you're not going to have to go through uh, either changing your throttle body data or going through and logging and making sure you use the histogram to update your predictive throttle angle table as we're going to be finding within the video here. So let's open up a calibration file so we can start to dissect the tables that we need to look at in our throttle body characterization programming. We're going to go in here and open up a file, so file open. And let's go here to a stock 2005 Mustang file. Let's click open here. Now we're going to go into our engine tab and then under general we're going to move across to airflow and then under airflow we'll go here from general into electric throttle. Within here we're going to be focusing our efforts and our attention into the predicted throttle angle and effective area. Now we haven't talked about this yet within the training course, but this is going to be something that we have going on in the background as far as our airflow and torque modeling. Now the, uh, the airflow model we know is going to be coming from our mass airflow sensor and or our speed density calculations. It's going to be figuring out what the load registration is going to be, uh, what the mass airflow that's being ingested in the engine is going to be. All of that can be used to figure out what the torque production is out of the engine. If we know what our airflow is going to be and we know what our spark timing is going to be. There's going to be modeling in the PCM that can actually determine what the engine torque is and we'll find it's relatively accurate. So in the situation where we're looking at our torque model, we're going to be indexing what we want our throttle body or the drive-by-wire throttle body to open at based on a torque request. Now we're going to be looking at and uh, taking a look at torque modeling in the next video. We're going to find that the drive-by-wire throttle body and the torque modeling go hand in hand. I wanted to break them apart into separate videos so we could focus on the topics individually. So we're very, very focused on what we're looking at because these are going to be essentially a separate process but they work hand in hand. So when we're requesting the torque from certain torque tables we'll find under torque model and torque management as we're going to be looking in the next video. It's going to be looking up in our tables what the throttle plate opening should be based on the throttle body size that we're dealing with. So if we have a larger than stock throttle body size, we're going to have a larger effective area of our throttle plate, meaning we have more surface area and as we're tipping our throttle open using our drive-by-wire throttle control, we're going to have different amounts of airflow being ingested into our engine based on that effective area of the throttle plate size difference. So when we put a larger than stock throttle body size on the engine and we're trying to follow along with a torque request with the PCM, it's imperative that we have our drive-by-wire throttle control dialed in right so that when we're expecting a certain amount of torque, we're receiving that amount of torque within a certain margin of error and that the torque and the airflow model are going to follow in line. And that's going to keep the PCM happy. That's how Ford calibrated everything. So our job when we change the throttle body is to make sure we're programming things properly and staying within the confines of our torque and airflow model so that again, PCM's happy, vehicle runs well. If we don't have our throttle body characterization data represented right or dialed in right, we're going to find that we might have stalling issues, we might have surging issues, we might have idle control problems, we might have uh, throttle closure under wide open throttle, all things we want to avoid. So if we get our uh, throttle body characterization tables dialed in right and we have everything happy within the programming in the PCM, we're going to find that we don't have any issues and the car is going to run as expected. So now that we've kind of gotten out of the way and talked about the general idea of what, what is going on with uh, programming our throttle body data, and meaning that we're going to be translating what that amount of throttle plate opening versus airflow is going to be, so the PCM is going to control things right. Let's jump in here and talk about a couple key tables, and then we're going to move into working with and actually taking some data 
for larger than stack throttle bodies and learning how to go and put that into our tables that we're dealing with here. So first thing I want to cover here in our electric throttle body tab, if we go up to the top here under general, we can see this is going to be an ETC. We show that it's in the fitted state, meaning we have drive-by-wire throttle or electronic throttle control. We do have an option for not fitted. In every case, we're dealing with a Mustang uh, within this 2005 to 10 generation. We're going to find that we're fitted with an ETC. We have no reason to change this. Now, we also have down below this limits, throttle angle max, throttle angle min. This is the min and max limits within the control. We find down below that we have a max throttle angle versus RPM table. This is engine speed on the side versus the maximum throttle angle we're going to allow. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.